Hey guys. In this video, we're going to be checking out of the box from the folks over at Barbecue Box. Didn't mean for the very awkward silence at the beginning of this review, but we're going to open up another box from the folks over at Barbecue Box. You can head over to barbecuebox.com. There's the website on the front of the box. And you can subscribe. What does subscribing get you? Well, you get yourself this fantastic looking box, but also the contents inside are a series of smoke rubs, sauces, and snacks, all themed around, you guessed it, the barbecue. The barbecue. We're going to get this opened up. I think this is the barbecue box for August 2017. We're going to open this up, look at the contents. If you afterwards have liked the contents in said video, this video here, and you would like to subscribe, you know where the website is. It's right there, barbecuebox.com. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this opened up. For that, I'm going to have to spin the box around because this is technically the front of the box. I was looking at the back of the box, but you can see my confusion. The front and back of the back of the box looked exactly the same. Let's go ahead and cut the tape. And let's not also forget there's tape on the top. By the way, Hank is joining us. I know I didn't introduce him, but he is joining us for this review. Gonna cut the tape on either side. Yes, 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 yes. Let's get this open up and let's see what we got for the contents for 2017, specifically for August. For starters, we get ourselves a little card. It says, help us light more fires. That would be in a good way. 75% off. Treat your friends or family to 75% off their first barbecue box. There's the coupon code on the back. 75% off your first box when you subscribe to the barbecue box. One coupon per household. Enter the unique coupon code above. There it is right there, ladies and gentlemen. Feel free to use that. I know a couple of people last review, uh, when we looked at this box, said, man, I would like to get this box. Now you have a reason. There's a coupon code. www.barbecuebox.com. Use that coupon code. Save yourself some moolah. Not the rustler. The card included as well, included inside the box, is the August 2017 box entitled Barbecue Beef Ribs. Mmm, mmm, barbecue beef ribs. Perhaps this might be also an indication as what we're also getting inside by the stuff in the background here. It shows the preparation of how you can make said barbecue ribs, including one bottle of barbecue Buddha Memphis mop sauce. Mop sauce, that sounds good. One bottle of Big Papa Smoker's Cash Cow Beef Rub and some olive oil. That's all you need to make a pair of lip smacking, <laughs> lip smacking, didn't mean to startle you there for a second, uh, barbecue beef ribs. I guess it doesn't have to necessarily be beef ribs. You can use pork ribs as well. If you prefer, prefer beef ribs or pork ribs, let me know down below. What do you prefer more so? Uh, we've got ourselves some striplings, general store beef jerky. And it is vacuum sealed. That means it's still good. And it's also still good. I don't mean to point my knife at my hand, but that's still good till August. Now, this always confuses me. That could either be August 9th, 2018, or that could be the 8th of September, 2018. When I was growing up, don't worry, it's a short story. When I was growing up, I used to always put uh, the month first. And then when I started working, when I was an adult, I started finding that a lot of people put day, month, year. Whereas growing up, I was, uh, I was misled to believe that I was to put the month, day, and year. It doesn't work so bad when you get into the 20 days because obviously there's no 20th month. But anything basically from zero to 12 well, 1 to 12 can be a little bit more difficult for me as to try to figure out, are you going by the month first or the day first? This is all the additional stuff that I throw to this video above and beyond just opening these videos up. So when you guys, yeah, this is my extra, this is my shtick that I throw in here as well. Here is the beef jerky. Whether it was best before August or September, it's still good before 2018. Let's give this a try. It looks like it's very soft. That could be good. Let's find out. Let's give it a try. Mmm. You know, I have to say, while it doesn't have a whole heck of a lot of flavor to it, I think what I taste more so is the flavor really directly from the meat. But I will say it's very soft. Generally, when you have any bit of beef jerky, you put it in your mouth, 
and you have to kind of do this. You have to let the saliva juices, ew, saliva juices kind of just break down the meat before you can start chewing because it's a little bit harder. This is very, very soft. It doesn't have a whole, again, a lot of flavor to it. It kind of has like the flavoring of a, like a beef stew sort of beef. It doesn't have like the teriyaki. It doesn't have like a real, a lot amount of smoke flavor to it, but it's pretty good beef jerky because it's also very soft. I love soft jerky. Got ourselves some wood chips. Specifically, this is gourmet wood chips pecan. America's best barbecue wood. It comes to us from Vaughn Wood Products. And questions or comments, you can go to this, this email address. You can also find them on Facebook as well. And then, of course, then we get ourselves down to the rubs and the sauces. For starters, you know what? We'll pull both out. Pull both out. And let's see what we got for our rub. So we got cash cow beef rub. Big Papa Smokers. I love when they throw stuff like this. Big Papa Smokers. It looks like it's heavily garlic uh, Let's see some of the ingredients here. Smoked. Alderwood sea salt, sugar, maltodextrin, coarse salt, hydrolyzed soy protein, garlic, cornstarch, onion. Maybe it's more garlic and the onion that I'm seeing, but it's a very pale looking rub. And when you know it, I completely forgot a spoon. I didn't bring a spoon with me. I make it sound like I've traveled across the country to shoot this video versus where I live, but I unfortunately did not bring myself a spoon. That is, uh, that's a disappointment. Nonetheless, we're gonna, I'm just gonna bare my fingers, pardon my fingers. I'm just gonna try a little bit in my fingers and I'm gonna give this a sampling and let's see how good this tastes. It's, now here's the problem. Let me just get this lid on here because I know I'm gonna, it's gonna go like this over. Oh, I almost did that too. It's gonna go all over the place. So I'm gonna put a lid back on. There's a difference between putting this on meat and eating this out of the container. Obviously results will vary. You would not wanna necessarily just go like this and shake it into your mouth and eat it because you would notice a very more profound flavor than one would expect to find if, for example, versus if you put it on meat. On meat, this would work perfectly fine. Uh, tasting it just as is, it is a little on the salty side. I do taste the garlic, I taste the onion uh, as more the profound flavors, the more solid flavors of the rub, but it is salty. Now, salt may work well, again, on meat, and I'm not dismissing the fact that if you're putting this on meat, and you're rubbing it in there and you're giving the meat a nice massage, uh, it, would it would really enhance the meat and give it the, the real solid flavors that this is bringing to the table. Uh, trying it is just on its own. I'm not doing it nearly the justice it deserves. Uh, of course, it is very salty. It is garlicky, very oniony, but that would work perfectly to a meat rub and not necessarily as a snack that you'd just be consuming from the jar. Uh, moving along, one of the other things that we got inside this box was the Barbecue Buddha Memphis Mop Barbecue Sauce. Uh, it has also an award, of elect, uh, an award of excellence back in 2017. I say back, we're currently in 2017. Uh, it is gluten-free, no high fructose corn syrup. It's peanut-free, no MSG, no trans fat, cholesterol-free, no artificial flavors or colors. You can visit Barbecue Buddha that would be B-B-Q-B-U-D-D-H-A dot com for recipes and more. The path of barbecue enlightenment starts with this sauce. This is the same great sauce used by the Barbecue Buddha competition team. Your Memphis ribs will be tender and moist when smoked with this award-winning sauce. Congratulations, you've made a wise choice. Wise choice. Uh, we're going to get this opened up. And I'm going to probably need my knife to do this because it obviously is wrapped that keeps the goodness in, that keeps spillage from happening. So I'm just gonna just tear a, just tear a piece from this so I can actually get access to the, the wrap, the sealer. Oh, actually there's a tab right there. What am I doing? 
Look carefully, Grasshopper. You'll find the seal. If I can actually get access to that. Let's see if I can get the knife going in there. There we go. And let's just get that opened up. I don't need to take it off completely. I can keep the bottom half done. And I don't have a spoon. I'm dumb in that way. I don't have a spoon. So I'm just going to shake this up. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your Buddha. See what I did there? Ah, see what I did. Okay. So we're going to just try the tip of it. Just the, the end of it. The, just whatever residuals left itself in, in the lid itself. I'm going to try a little bit. An excess amount, some would say. I'm going to give see what it tastes like on my finger not professional let's give it a try barbecue buddha immediately i'm tasting a very sweet sauce that's good it kind of reminds me of this kind of sauces that i would have had growing up and i don't mean that in a negative way that this is kind of the ideal sauces for me my parents barbecue sauce i mean there's no safe locked away uh, recipe for this was generally like ketchup mustard you put like a little bit of uh of course, salt and pepper some garlic and uh and some brown sugar i taste very much the same similar kind of flavors here but of course on a much higher level there's a lot more depth to it than just simply the ingredients that i've listed what are the ingredients ketchup okay yeah distilled vinegar actually these are the ingredients for the sauce, brown sugar, okay, so far we're there, mustard, which is what I was tasting, mustard seed, salt, turmeric, paprika. Now, again, this is entering into territory we wouldn't know, I wouldn't have had in the sauces growing up. Cider vinegar, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Uh, let's see here, onions, anchovies, anchovies are in there. Fancy that, molasses, salt, garlic, cloves, uh, tamarind, uh, let's see, spice, hickory, smoke, so again, like it's really got some solid flavors to it, but it's the kind of sauce that I would have growing up. And this is definitely the kind of sauce that I would want to put on. Oh, I don't know, like a, like a, like a stack, like a, a, a thing of ribs, beef ribs specifically, but I guess you could use that on pork ribs as well. That my friends is a delicious sauce. You can quote me on that. If you are taking quotes from anybody, take this quote from me. That's delicious barbecue sauce. Let's have a good look at, once again, what we got inside the August 2017 box. It consisted of pecan chips, the Barbecue Buddha Memphis Mop Barbecue Sauce, Cash Cow Beef Rub, as well as we also got ourselves some Striplin's uh, General Store Beef Jerky. If you guys are interested in subscribing to the Barbecue Box, it's as simple as going over to the barbecuebox.com website. Why not? While you're there, why not use the coupon code? Save yourself 75%. 75%. That's a lot. And that's the coupon code that you can use to get that. www.barbecuebox.com. That's the place you want to go to. That's the coupon code you want to use. This is the kind of stuff that you're going to get inside. And don't just eat the rub on its own. You've got to put that on meat and stuff like that. If you guys like videos like this, certainly hit it with a like. And if you haven't yet a chance subscribing to this channel, don't wait. Hit that little subscribe button down below and subscribe today. More videos like this coming your way. More subscription boxes as we have a look at other things that can come to your house every single month. As always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.